Well, hello everybody. It is I. I am back. I'll explain it all in the next little video, I think, if I don't explain it here. I did a video this morning for you, so it's at the end of this video, so you have to watch it. But Because most people like to see what I sold first. I've had that people say that. Um, we're going to do that. Now, over the few weeks, I have sold bits and pieces. What have I sold? I don't know, but it hasn't been great. It hasn't been super, super weeks like we had last year. Why am I standing up? Because it's such a mess here. <laughs> So I'm trying to block it a little bit. It's been a sort of like run in, drop and go situation or pick up and go situation. It's been really bad. But yeah, I'll, I, you'll hear me talk about that shortly. Anyway, I've got in my tax sorted at the moment. Well, I've got an appointment on the 9th, so that's done. I don't have to think about it. Other things you'll, you'll hear about in a second. I'm just trying to see where we're up to in my life. We're in July, it's nearly over. Um, the last few weeks, I don't know when I even saw you last. I can't remember. Maybe way back on the day, I don't know. But I made $231 uh, a few weeks ago. Don't think you saw any of that. It's too late to show you now. Then I made a $286 about two weeks ago. Um, I think I did little videos of it, but you're not seeing them now because I just wasn't in the right state to show anything. But I did sell these retro chairs. That was a good one. It was kind of good. I probably only made... Uh, I made $82 on them. Now I paid, I think, $40 or $50. So I've either made $82 or $92. I can't remember. But I, I bought these months ago, like probably two, a year and a half ago. And I thought they'd sell fast. And they didn't. This guy has been watching them on and off for a while. And he's getting his sister to pick them up. Paid for them last month and pick him up sometime soon. So hopefully they'll go. There was only a $286 profit month. Um, last week I sold a bit of stuff, $271 worth of stuff. Anything exciting to share with there? No, it was all pretty cheap. Oh, the Jolliffe Comics was a good one. Um, I probably paid $6. It was that, that uh, private pick I did not long back and picked them all up. I put them up for $120 and I made $95.61, which went towards my car. <sighs> my car money at the moment, we're standing at $11.90, I think. Actually, $12.90 after this week. Um, it's cost me $100 to get to $12.90. We'll talk about cars in the next little bit episode too. Talk about a few things in a little bit. Stay tuned. So today, I think we're up to today. Some things have already been sold, sent, have they? They have. The clockwork, clockwork books have been sent. These ones here. I probably only paid a dollar for them. Twenty dollars and forty cents was mine. Um, and I think the rest of the stuff I've got here. I think, but I haven't added anything up yet, so I'll do that after, and I'll when I'm editing, you'll see how much I made. I sold this Lorraine dress. Now, you know that I don't pay much money for stuff, and I've just gone, oh God, I'll tell you that in a minute, please. I can't even right now. That's not even it. Um, in here. Anyway, I sold this, this lovely Lorraine dress. See it here? It's, it's here. It's here. It is here. I had it all packed up, and I thought I'd really show you guys, because that's why I waited. It was a four, probably a four dollar dress because you know me, tight wad, doesn't spend much on stuff but likes to make nice profit. <laughs> That's all it is. I've had it for a few months so someone paid, what did they pay for it? Not very much. They paid twenty-two dollars, four dollar profit, I mean four dollars uh, cost and I made 13. So it wasn't a great deal. I didn't even have to show you that one's pretty boring but I made some money there. The next thing I'm going to refund because I can't find it. And the next thing took me ages to find, but I found them. And I actually was in the place I thought they were, but I didn't look the other day when I was in a rush. Okay, I've been super busy. Um, I sold these. If you ever see these, I've got a whole heap more to list eventually. If you ever see these, grab them. They're really well, well worth getting. They, they always send, there's four of them. There's a yellow one and a blue one as well. All different faces on it, but they finally sold. Uh, probably had them for a year, or maybe not even that long. I can't remember. $4 I paid and... $24.95 is what I made on those, so that was good. Um, ornamental man and lady, just these two. Nothing to show you excitingly enough to make it worthwhile me unpacking it all. Um, the temp skirt I just refunded. I can't find it. I've just spent the other day I was here looking for it another couple of days ago, and then I've come back again twice today looking for it, and I gave up. So, yeah, it was only a $15 buy, so it wasn't worth worrying about too much. The next thing was these. I don't even know if I even showed you these when I bought them. They're actually, they might, I might have, I can't remember. They were just a pair of um, stretch pants, but they're called Nasty, Nasty Girl. I think I might have shared it with you. Finally, so I sold those. Haven't had them very long, maybe about a month. I need to got $15, but I made $11.40, so I wouldn't have paid. I don't think I paid anything for them. They came in a bunch of stuff. 
Um, oh, I've got to look for that yet. And the red berry dress, skirt, vest. <laughs> oh no, there's one really good thing I want to show you here too. That's all. This red berry one was the one I picked up, what, two weeks ago? And someone offered me a really low price and I counter off and they didn't take it. Someone else come along and I sold it for $25. I haven't worked out my profit, you know, we're looking at probably about 20, 22. No, we're not looking at that much. We're looking at about 15, 14, 15, because it cost me six. So it's a bit of a splurge. I don't usually spend that much money, but I just really love that funkiness. And I'm a bit, a bit of a sucker for embroidery and velvet together, especially. So that one left, it's going to leave me. I've got these Hard Anger. It's a uh, vintage type embroidery that people love and I've got to find them before I leave. I told her I'd look for them before I go. I'm hoping because I've got to refund two things. It was a, a book that I can't find and uh, but I sold this. This is one of the things that went on my car this week. It got me up to $12.90. I made a profit of $166 on this. It only cost me five bucks. This. Okay, very just yeah, I bought it for me originally and I actually sat around for a while. I thought, oh, I better check because I usually check straight away and I didn't. I checked that brand. I think I've showed you. Stuart Membry. Do keep an eye out for that because it, it, it's very collectible. As you notice, someone gave me, you know, bought it for 200 bucks and plus postage. So that was a, definitely a great buy, that one. So that helped me out this week a lot. And in a minute, you'll see up here exactly what I made on those things, okay? Um, yeah, I think that's it. I've got to find those runners before I leave. Hopefully I'll do that in a minute. Now, I'm going to show you a couple of things I bought. Um, yeah, last week, a week before, and then again today. And I'll show you the today thing I got. I was really happy. I went to one of the op shops that I go into quite a lot. And I found a vintage 1970s dress. No tag, it's a homemade one, but it's got that prairie style look to it. So I just had to get it for like three bucks. So I had to get it, so I did. Got that, and I'm gonna measure that. I didn't really get a lot, guys, actually. I got something unusual. Now there's other things I did get, but um, like this beautiful bluebird brooch came in my 50 cent bag, believe it or not. Um, there is things, but I've already listed them, so. Oh, I'm not going to show you that, but I did get these the other day, which I have just listed recently and they haven't moved yet. Oh, I sold these too today, Outback magazines. They're not on my list yet because I have only sold them late last night. Had them forever. I thought they were going to be a waste. They probably only cost me a dollar with that. Um, I've got these brand new Hush Puppies in the box. $159 price tag on them. It's one of these boxes. Hopefully they'll sell well. Um, and I got... This is morning, which is really odd. You know, I, you know me. I don't just go and buy clothes and all the stuff. The DVD. I don't want to do DVDs. I can't wait to get rid of all my DVDs, half my books, and you'll hear why shortly. <laughs> um, and I'm not doing them again. But I like to buy things that are unusual and just test the waters and see if it sells. Now I saw these two things this morning, and I looked at it. I thought this is great, but what am I going to do with it? Will it sell? And I had a quick look online to see if it was worth getting. What is it? Get to the point. It is um, unspun merino wool. It's called top. They're called tops. Apparently, the top part of the wool, I presume. Um, they cost me six dollars a bag. Now, there's nine kilos. It says on the tag here, nine kilos. The original tag is somewhere. No, it's come off. Anyway, it was there before. And then there's the one that's a lot larger. So I thought, me being me, I like to try different things. Um, it says it's from 1980 something. It's sealed. It's not. It doesn't smell. There's nothing in it. There's no. Yeah, it's very very clean. So someone who does felting or likes to spin wool, you know, maybe I'll take up spinning again. I did that many many years ago. Okay. What did I buy that was really worth my my while buying? I bought this. <laughs> I was at the op shop last week. <clears throat> with um, someone in the family that I absolutely adore and was visiting. And um, I, I know that cricket bats and stuff like that are well worth looking at. And I thought, I know, I probably passed hundreds of them not thinking, but then I saw this one sticking up. I thought, I'll quickly check. I quickly checked this this brand, Simmons brand, Rhino Tusk, Tuskers Classic. And look what I've listed it for. And I've got five people watching it. I had two people watching it within like, within the half hour, within the 20 minutes. I've had one question about the sizing. Um, 
yeah fingers crossed guys i get rid of that cost me two dollars so we're hoping so keep an eye for cricket bats as well please so you can get yourself a yeah some, some profit there don't know how any, anyone else is going it's just been really horrible but the accountant just said to me it's like that for everybody now i did buy an overlocker this morning from the op shop i bought a heater because mine blew up a really good one I'm not going to show you those but i am going to show you something the lady that i often buy jewelry off um, had a couple of things that she wanted to show me and ask if I wanted them. Now, generally I say no, and I nearly did say, I actually said no, I don't think so. Then I thought about it and had a quick look online to see if it was worth getting. Um, don't even know, I might even take this one back yet. But I've got a fur, two fur jackets. It's the Berkeley. I think I might have to tell her this one's actually got a, this one I'll probably have to refund. I'll probably tell her I don't want that one. Just realise it's got a big tear in the in the um, shoulder it's falling apart so it's actually only going to be good for crafting but this one is the one I really wanted this one here is from the 1970s <coughs> it's probably rabbit fur <coughs> they're, they're, you don't see these ones very often and funny enough, enough last night or this morning when she told me she had them to have a look at it, I thought to myself I wonder if it's a 70s one in there so yes yeah, it's definitely a 70s um, jacket and uh, yeah, it's just really lovely. So I'm gonna probably see if I can get both a little bit cheaper because that came off just then. Um, but this one's a really lovely one, suede and fur. So for those who don't like fur, I'm sorry. Um, I don't believe in throwing that away because it is part of our history. No, I would not buy new fur. Um, but you know, old fur like this, it, it's part of our history. It's part of fashion history. So that's, uh, that's why I got it. But yeah, I'm a bit disappointed the other one actually has that yeah piece of chunk out of it just there so i'd say it's molting look you can still sell them because people will buy them for teddy bears and whatnot so that's what i bought so i'm going to go you can watch the next part of my video which will give you more information of what's been happening and what is happening etc and so forth i uh, hope you enjoy that and i hope to see us again soon i'm sorry it took so long to get back but i sort of feel like i'm halfway back let's go to the next section hello everybody I don't know what part of this video you're going to see this probably at the end because you know I've done the what sold at the beginning I was going to do what sold this morning but I want to show you the stuff that I've sold physically like I like to do lately so it's been a bit of a hiatus for me um, life is like that it's a roller coaster and emotionally I didn't wasn't doing well we had a bit of a family disruption which caused me to have a little bit of a breakdown and so I spent a few days away with my granddaughter my granddaughter gave me wise words. She said, don't fight it. You don't fight a cyclone. Just sit and wait for it to, to settle down. And I did. And everything's starting to get back into place. So I can start to breathe again now. But it was in, I was in a very pretty dark place again for a little while. But I'm okay. I always fight through. Now, what's happened since I've seen you? I've sold stuff, which we'll talk about. Actually, I might talk about some other stuff. No, I won't do that later. <laughs> um, my daughter's been... I've had a birthday. I've only got 11 years to go before I'm 70 years old. Um, I bought a car, my new car right here. It's not the car of my dreams. It's not a van. It's not a ute. It's not an old classic, which was what I really, really want. I saw a fantastic one at iLuca recently, a little ute, which is now on my radar if I ever see one because I can have two cars then. Um, but this is my little um, Holden Cruise uh, 2011 model, and I love it. It is so good. It's even got a little sunroof up here. Can see it the sunroof up there um but yeah it's pretty flash for someone who like me who likes the old stuff but uh yeah i got all that i also got this let's just don't tell my mother <laughs> the girls bought that for me on my birthday so my granddaughters and my daughter are here and they made me choose i didn't know where to put it, it wasn't exactly where i wanted it she sort of did it too far over but yeah i got that but anyway i've got to hide it my mother will kill me <laughs> but anyway so I got that um and yeah my daughter was here and we went house searching and we may have bought a house the house also isn't a house of my dreams what I have learned over the last few weeks of being this way I'm a dreamer okay and I think dreamers often get depression very easily because we have all these high hopes of what we want what we hope for and what we haven't got and it can cause us to be like a bit miserable because we want these things and we can't get those things you know i wanted a how i wanted my old classic car i've accepted i'm not getting an old classic car i'm getting a very reliable car beautiful little car and 
I the house I've we've bought well we we're in the process of doing all the paperwork um, and the inspections and stuff is not the whole home of my dreams it's not an old vintage home like I wanted because we are in a place where we can't afford all that fancy stuff it's actually a 1970s home the photo is just there it's not pretty it did go through the floods but it didn't go up high enough to cause any internal damage upstairs and all the downstairs where it got was, was all concrete um, it did get damage on the electrical so the whole house has been newly um, done electrically which is fantastic the bones are there of that house there's some really good bones it's got beautiful floorboards underneath that click clack stuff in one area and 1970s shag and not pretty shag dirty grotty carpet that hasn't even been laid down properly in the other rooms so we are busting to get in there and start ripping and cleaning and painting and all the rest of it our ideas are going i'm hoping to get a boho style room house i don't know whether i'm going to do it on this channel or i'm going to start my new channel which is going to be a channel of crafting creating building organizing the home i don't know i probably will i'll probably have this channel and that channel i think um, so that's where I'll probably take you is when I am going to be getting into the house and also when I start creating the things I want to share with you. The granddaughter's back room, which is probably the ensuite, I don't want it. It's at the back. It's got a big veranda that you walk up into and it's got sliding doors onto the veranda and it's got a little ensuite. But she's got dogs. She's got two dogs. We've got a, a, a dog and two when my until my daughter takes hers. And my daughter's gone home. She worked so hard for us all those few days, sorting out some for her, sorting out stuff for my grandson. She didn't stop the poor darling, but she had wonderful weather, and she's gone back to miserable weather again, and it's miserable weather today. But anyway, the granddaughter's bedroom is a really big room, and um, it's only got masonite on the floor. It's just an extension of the house, and so we're going to take the click clack. I shouldn't be telling you this. We're going to take the click clack flooring from the lounge room area into her into that area. So yeah, we've got all that sorted, and we're not, we're we're doing well that way so I'll keep the colors as a surprise in the style but the gardens it's a huge big block I'll show you a photo there huge big block um, it's got a lot of gum trees and stuff so we might have to get some branches taken down but we want to do a, a lot of vegetables and fruit trees through there plus dog area and a chook pen we must have a chook pen it's also got an aviary it's got space for the trampoline the boys have been wanting for ages and i'm hoping to get an old hills hoist i want to get an old hills hoist not the new modern ones but the old hills hoist put back the plug is there i want to put one of those back up otherwise i'm just going to get one of those string lines you know old style but it's a 1970s house it was um built by the people that owned it for the last 47 years and they have moved out and bought another house somewhere else so we did put a, a lower offer on it so the 410 you see is not what we pay we paid a quite a few thousand a little, quite a bit different quite a bit of a gap because they just want to get rid of it um, they had a higher offer but the higher offer was from people that have to sell their own home first where we've got our home mostly sold and my grand my daughter my beautiful daughter is going in to help us with the rest of the loan so we're, all three of us are going onto the lease onto the loan so yeah we're very excited about that so hopefully that all goes through according you know if the building and pest inspection goes through fine that should be all good so that's my that's my um yeah that's that's where i am at the moment guys so i thought i'd just let you know there's probably lots of stuff i was thinking i want to tell you i can't think well i suppose i should spill the beans now about that should I spill the beans now about, I don't know, maybe, okay, I'm going to be a great grandmother in November and I'm going to be a great grandmother again in January. Can you believe it? A great grandmother. I know. I used to look at my own kids and think, oh my goodness, I can't imagine they're all grown up. And now I've got grown up grandkids. Well, it's very hard to believe, but yes, I'm going to be a grand, great grandmother twice over by January next year. So hard to believe maybe they'll all start coming I'm, I'm gonna i'm still expecting grandkids from my one of my sons so my my beautiful daughter doesn't want any at all her partner's got a son who's a teenager and she doesn't want any at all she's had enough raising kids she's helped me with my lot um and my youngest son can't have children at all so yeah I've, i know that my my older son who's 33 will when he gets married again or has it not finds his right lady he'll end up having kids so i'll have grandkids and great grandkids rolling in at the same time most likely so that's that's where i'm at at the moment guys so i look forward to starting my new channel
if you can think of what I can call it, that'd be wonderful. I'm, I think I'm going to be just calling it maybe Nellie B. Create with Nellie B. Uh, can she do it? I don't know. If you can, I was thinking about, yeah, I've, I've got so many ideas, but I don't know. So if you've got some ideas you want to throw at me, please put it in the messages below, comments below. Um, I hope you enjoyed the stuff that I've actually sold the last, whatever I've shown you before this video, this part. I hope you enjoyed that. Now, the reason I'm doing this now is because I'm actually sitting at the gym. I had to drop Mr. 18 and his 14 year old brother at the gym for a little bit. And I'm waiting for them to finish because Mr. 14 and I have got to go to Grafton. And I'll probably mention all that in the, in the last video anyway. So, yeah, we're going to, uh, I'm going to take myself away. I may go up, it's just after nine. I might go up to a couple of shops in town while I'm waiting for the boys. And, uh, yeah, that's where I am. I'm back. I still don't feel as high as I want to be. I am sort of still a bit flat. Um. I'm trying to get my excited. I am excited about the house, but I used to get super excited about stuff, like super excited. And I think I've learned to ground myself a bit more. Maybe that's what I've done, what I've done with myself the last few weeks. I've just decided to ground, I ground myself more instead of being. Doo -doo -doo. Um, the only thing is, too, guys, with the house, if you have a look downstairs in those big windows, that's going to be my room. It's like a, um, it's a laundry workshop, and the workshop is really, really messy at the moment. If you go and have a look at the photos in the house, it looks really good because they've taken photos of all the best parts, okay? But the rest of the house is gross. It needs a paint badly. And downstairs is pretty bad as well. Um, we're going to gurney, going to rip out all the old rubbish, gurney the whole place out, put a new, another toilet downstairs, um, put a new laundry sink downstairs. And then I'm going to be painting it because that's going to be my work area and my shed area. Not as big as I wanted. I'm going to have to have a biggest colour. So if you're going to be up this area, when I have my garage sale, you're going to be very, very happy people. Because I've got so much to get rid of. So much. Because I've got the shed up north and two sheds down here. And I'm going to have more than one garage sale, I think. But anyway, so that, that's where we are. I'm going now. I hope you enjoyed that waffling and, and uh, know where I'm at. So, yeah, I'll talk to you all soon again, hopefully. Might even, maybe if I find some stuff, I might even share after this or... I might share after the last, I don't know, I have, don't know, we'll see. If I don't, if I finish the video now, thank you for watching. Don't forget to, forget to hit the like button down below if you want to follow my adventures and find out when my new channel is going to be started and what it's going to be called and all that sort of stuff. And you love treasure hunting, you know where to come here. Press the like button, subscribe, all that sort of stuff. Take care, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for sticking around too. Bye.